Hi guys, it's Denim on here again. I'm just doing a review on the um, the liquid cooling system in my Palmac G5 quad core. I think some of you will be interested in this. Some saying some have two pumps, some saying one have, some have one pump. Now I'm getting really good temperatures off my Palmac G5 and I put a prolong called iStat Prolong and it only showed one pump on there so obviously it's got one pump. I've took the cover off now and I'm now going to show you the internals to show you the actual Powermat G5 pump and liquid cooling system. I think some of you guys will be interested in it. It doesn't leak, it's a very good system and um, I hope you enjoy this video lads. So here we go. Some people say the single pump's the best one to get. So I'm chuffed a bit to put a single pump on it. I think it's a very good system what they've put in, the later ones. The early ones were prone to leaking. They revised them in 2005. And they brought out the quad cores, they put different pumping systems on them. So, here you go, guys. Cooling system, should I say. So, here you go, guys, and I'll show you around inside on the Palmac G5 um, cooling solution. As you can see, lads. There's only one pump in here. Um, there's the pump down the bottom. Single pump. Um, the pipe's going off. There's no um, aluminium pieces on it. If you look, it's um, it's all rubber tubing. It's going into the CPUs. That's the bottom one. There's the top CPU there. As you can see the pipe's running down to the second block. In there, second CPU block. So we've got two CPU blocks feeding off one pump. The pump's down here in the corner. There's the uh, radiator. As you can see, it's a Delphi one. Which a revised unit. Single pump, nobody's ever seen one. Um, and to get the cover off here, you don't have to drill through it to get the cover off. I'll show you that now, why you don't have to do that. A lot of people are drilling the plug out to get to the system to look. If there's any leaks, you don't have to do that, lads. I'll show you why. Right lads, what we have is a little plastic piece here and a pin, a little plastic pin, just show you the pin, that's the pin, of course, into the middle, there, you look, it goes into the middle of that plastic piece. So to get this off, all you do is get a sharp, sharp implement or something, stick it in, and this pin at the top will actually pop out like that, leaving this bit. You can either get that bit out with a bit of, put a screw in it, screw a screw into it, very gently, and then pull it out, and it should come out. So that's how you get that out, you don't need to drill it to remove it. The actual plate, when you try and get it off, you move it that way and then pull out. So if you move it that way, as you're looking at the machine, you move it to the left hand side and then pull out and it'll come out. This is a G5 plate, it's just a piece of aluminium. I wanted to look at the pump to see if it weren't leaking and it's not. So, there you go lads. This is the Palmac G5 quad liquid cooling system. Radiator there. Hoses here. And a single pump at the bottom. This is a single pump on the dual pumps. You'll be able to see the pumps on the top sticking out. So this is the other version that brought out with a single pump. There you go, lads. Powermat G5 quad. Single pump cooling system. 
So guys, to put the um, cover back in place, take the pin, I'd leave the pin in there so you don't lose it. Take the pin out. That's the pin. This is the bit what goes into the hole. Put it in the hole. Push it down. Put the thing went by. Might have to nip it a little bit to put it back in. plastic bit back in, get your little pin, which is that, and shove it in the hole, push it down, that's it, simple as, so there you go lads, that's how you take the cover off as well and put it back on, so it's not as hard as people think, get a drill out, drill it out, but you've ruined it, you can't put the thing back in, a little scalpel, a blade or something sharp, put it in, pull the little pin out and then put a little screw in the top, pull the other piece out so then you can just, these come off by um, pulling them sideways and then pulling them out, that's how they work, so there you go lads, now back in one piece, hope you've enjoyed this video, it's Dynaman, see you back for now.